What is up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. My name is Devin. I hope you will consider sticking around and subscribing. And if you're not new, as always, welcome back. Girl, you know I love you. So I'm really excited about today's video because this is the first video in a series of videos that I'm going to be doing with all of the ColourPop Disney products. So ColourPop has come out with a bunch of Disney collabs recently, I would say over the past year or two. I actually never bought any of them, which is crazy to me because I am a huge Disney freak. So they were having a sale a couple weeks ago. It was 25% off all the Disney stuff. And I was just like, Ooh, I'm going to do it. So I bought a whole bunch of their Disney collab makeup that they've done from all of the different collections. And I'm going to be doing just a series of videos over the next couple of weeks on all of those products. So even though they're not, these products aren't particularly brand new, I thought it would be fun. I feel like a lot of you out there probably have these palettes in your collection and you might want to dig them back up and do some looks at them. So that's what we're going to do. So now that I've explained that today's specific video, is going to be on this palette right here. This is the Anna palette from the ColourPop and Disney Frozen 2 collection. This is what she looks like. She's very beautiful, very warm toned, very fall. I actually haven't seen Frozen 2, so I'm not really sure what the whole theme is here, but I need to watch it soon. The gist that I get is that this was very autumn inspired and then Elsa's palette was very like wintry, icy inspired. So the look that I created was the one that I'm wearing on my eyes right now. So if you would like to see how I created this look using the Anna palette, let's get right into it. Okay, you guys, so let's go ahead and get started. Please excuse my voice. I'm getting over a cold that turned into a sinus infection and I'm still kind of working with a scratchy throat, a scratchy throat, <laughs> a scratchy throat and a stuffy nose today. But nonetheless, the show must go on. So we're going to go ahead and jump right into the palette. Oh my goodness, she's so pretty. I am so excited for this series. So as I'm sure I've already mentioned in the intro, this is the Anna palette. Here's what she looks like. I love it. And I have already gone ahead and done my brows and primed and set my eyelids. So we're just going to dive right in. So let me grab a brush here. So I think I would like to start with this color right here, which is called wind for a crease. So I'm just taking that color on a little fluffy brush. This one's from BH, but you can use whatever you want, whatever works for your crease. And I'm just going to start building that up. And I honestly don't have too much of a vision for this look. I just kind of want to start and play around and see where we go with it. So if you're wondering if I know what I'm doing, the answer is no. <laughs> I never do. And I think today I'm going to go for it and take it up a little bit higher on my brow bone than I have been normally. I have a lot, a lot of brow bone space. I don't really have deep set eyes per se, but I would say they're like medium set because you can see right here where like this is my brow bone and my crease is pretty far back in there. So anyway, sometimes I just feel like it looks like too much if I take it all the way up, but we're going to do it today. Next, I do want to pull in some of the pinkier tones in this palette too. So I'm going to move into this shade right here, which is called Warm Hugs. It's kind of like a mauve color, but it does have some tiny little flecks of glitter in it. I don't know if you guys can see that. I'm not that worried about it. I'm still going to use it in the crease. So I'm just taking that on a slightly more dense blending brush and I'm going to build that up in the crease as well. All right, and then real quick, I'm going to take that first brush I was using. I'm not going to put any extra product on it, but I am just going to kind of run that over the edges to blend those two shades together a little bit more. I don't want them to look that separate on the eyelid. I want them to kind of fade into each other, almost like a sunset. Next, I'm going to take Autumn Breeze, which is this lovely matte, like deep purpley wine color over here. I'm going to use my Morphe E17, and this color is going to go in our outer corner. I'm just going to start packing that on. And as I'm packing that on, I'm just kind of softly also blending that up into the crease. I don't want to take it up too high and depending on like your eye shape and how much room you have to do this, you might need a slightly smaller brush for this. But I find that when I'm working on myself, 
This brush is great for packing this way, but also you can use the tip to kind of softly blend as well. And hopefully this doesn't end up looking like I have a bruised eye. <laughs> Cause I feel like that's kind of where we're at right now, but we'll see. Okay, and then I'm dipping back into Warm Hugs again with the same brush that we were using before. And I'm just gonna run that through the crease again to connect that purple in with the rest of the look. And I am gonna take a little bit more of wind right here as well, just cause I want everything to look blended and vibrant. This is getting quite dramatic quite quickly, but I kind of expected that with this palette just cause the colors are so vibrant and dramatic. All right, let's get some color on the lid. So I'm gonna take the shade Earth right here, which is this beautiful gold shimmer, and I'm just gonna take it on a flat eyeshadow brush. And we're gonna pack that on. And I'm just kind of using that top edge of my brush to define it how in the same way you would define a cut crease. I never really do cut creases. I always just kind of do this and it works for me because it's less work. <laughs> but I'm just using kind of like the top of my brush to get a similar effect. All right, and then I'm gonna use that same brush. I just wiped off a little bit of the extra gold on a paper towel here. And I'm gonna go into the shade right here, which is called, what is it called? Adventure. Just get a little bit of that. And I'm gonna use it to merge the purple that we put in the outer corner with the gold. I like to do this if there's a similar shimmer in the palette to the matte that we put in the outer corner because I just think it helps make everything look a little bit more cohesive. Now you definitely don't have to take this many steps <laughs> when you're using this palette or do a look this intricate, but for the first time testing it out, I think it's fun to just kind of use as much of it as possible and see how it goes. And I will say these shimmers are like, they're okay. They're not the best, but I think they look all right. Yeah, so hopefully you guys can see the difference that that made. It just kind of brings everything together on the lid. And now that I'm looking at it, I feel like I kind of need a tiny bit of this purple through the crease. So I'm just taking a tiny, tiny little bit tapping it off and I'm just gonna just lightly blend it into the crease and just invite it to come all the way into the inner corner. I feel like I always end up doing this with the shade that I put in the outer corner. I don't know why, I just think I love a little bit of that extra depth in the crease. And now just for fun, what I think I'd like to do is just take a little bit of this glitter and I do have to disclaim, cause ColourPop disclaims this for all of their pressed glitters and their eyeshadow palettes. They are technically not eye safe. Don't put them on your eyes if you're not comfortable putting them in your eyes. You do it at your own risk. I've never had an issue with them, so I'm gonna go ahead and put them on my eyelids. So I just wanna add this glitter over top of the gold just to give it a little something extra. So I'm just using it with my finger, tapping it on. Doesn't have to be neat, nothing crazy. I just think that makes it look a little bit more magical, a little bit more Disney magic on that lid. What do you guys think? Love it. All right, and now I am just going to clean up a little bit with a makeup wipe. We're not done yet, but I wanna do the rest of my face makeup before I finish the eye look, so. I'm gonna clean up underneath. All right, you guys, so I'm gonna pop off camera, do the rest of my face makeup, and then we'll come back to finish up the eye look. Okay, my friends, let's go ahead and finish up our eyes now. So, I think I'm gonna start with the purple in the outer corner. Okay, so I'm gonna take my Morphe E36. I'm gonna take a little bit of that Autumn Breeze shade, tap it off, because I don't want this to be too much. I wanna go in lightly first. And I'm just gonna go ahead and connect the lower lash line with the outer corner. And as I'm bringing that in, I'm gonna try my best not to put any extra product on it. And I'm gonna try to make that purple just kind of fade and have that line just get a little bit skinnier and skinnier as we go towards the inner corner, almost to where it fades into nothing. Cause I don't want the purple to overtake the lower lash line, since we've already got a lot going on on the upper lid, definitely concentrate that the most out here. And then just kind of slowly fade it in. All right, and then I'm gonna take a little bit of warm hugs and I'm just gonna go ahead and blend that underneath. 
And I'm just trying to get a little bit of that pink in there, one to help diffuse the line, but also to help the color kind of blend in and match what we have on top. All right, and then let's go ahead and brighten up the inner corners with this shade right here, which is called Scooch In, which I'm assuming is a reference to the second movie, but like I said, I haven't seen it, so I don't know, but it's a cute name. I'm gonna take it even a little bit onto the very inner part of the lid just to make sure we're all nice and bright. Oh, my stomach is growling. I gotta eat. And then on the lower lid as well, I kind of just want to drag that. Yeah. And then we're just gonna top it off with a little bit up under the brow bone. I always say under the brow bone under the brow on top of the brow bone. All right, now it has come the time for lashes. So as normal, I'm gonna pop off camera and do my lashes. These are the Coco Queen Bee lashes. Nothing new here, guys. This is what we're doing. Okay, and now time for lips. So I am first going to use my NYX Lip Crayon Pencil thing. This is in the shade Nude Beige. All right, my camera cut off, I'm not sure where. Um, this actually, it's a lot more cool toned than I expected it to be. I kind of forgot that it was like that. So I didn't line my whole lips with it because I don't want it to change the color of the lip gloss that I'm gonna use too much. So I just went around the outside. And then for lip gloss, I'm gonna be using the lip gloss that came in the Anna collection. So this is the shade Free Spirit, and it's just a beautiful nude lip gloss, but it's definitely, it's definitely more of a warm toned, like orangey brownish nude. So that's why I just, I didn't want to go too much with the lip liner. Oh, it smells really good. It smells like, it smells like caramel or something. It smells delicious. It looks like caramel too. I don't love the applicator on this. I feel like I have to keep going back in. And honestly, it's not very opaque, so it looks kind of funny up close with the lip liner. Okay, so like I was saying, I don't love the applicator. Whoa, it's rolling away from me. I don't love the applicator on this lip gloss. You guys can see it's like a brush. I wish that it was a doe foot because you can see the brush is already kind of starting to fray out. And it was hard to kind of get around the edges of my lips precisely, but it smells delicious. I love the color of this and I actually, I didn't really know what to expect with this gloss, especially with this look, but I actually think it's that perfect little bit of something on my lips to pair with this. Oh God, I feel like I'm still getting, I feel like I'm still getting those little like clumpy things that you get with a gloss sometimes, but I feel like it is the perfect lip to go with this look to have something on the lips and kind of like round everything out but not overpower or compete with the drama of the eye look so I really like this gloss and I could see myself using this gloss like this color to top off a lot of different lip colors or looks whether it would be like a more neutral eye or a more dramatic eye like this so I am really really happy with this lip gloss color I just I don't know I guess I just wasn't expecting to love it as much as I do but this is a win I really like it all right, you guys, so here we are with the finished look, and I have to say I am quite happy with it. When I do looks like this, just because this isn't really like a color scheme that I would do on a daily basis, or it's just not like typically something that I would do on my eyes like every day, I never really know how it's gonna go. <laughs> um, especially when I was first doing it, I was like, oh my gosh, this is starting to look more like a bruise than an eyeshadow look, but it all comes together at the end and that's one of my favorite things about makeup. So I would say overall, I do really, really like this palette. I think it's pretty and I think it's really, really fun, especially I feel like this is a very fall look right now, even though we're heading into spring but I just think it's beautiful. In terms of like the formula and everything, pretty standard to what I expect the ColourPop formula to be. I will say that gold shimmer was okay. I feel like ColourPop shimmers are kind of hit or miss on, for me, depending on the formula of the shimmer that they use, because they have a bunch of different ones. 
But again, I'm really happy with the look that I was able to create. I think it's very Anna inspired. I just wanna run and go sit and watch the movie right now. And then just to reiterate, I really, really, really love this lip gloss. And I especially love how this lip paired with the entire look as well. So that is gonna be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching it. If you have not already considered subscribing to my channel, please do so down below. And you can also hit the notification bell if you would like to be notified when I upload. You can also follow me on Instagram. I am at devdevgregs over there as well. And with that, I will catch you guys in my next video. Mwah. Love you. Bye.